In the previous lessons, we learned how to create instance methods, and in this lesson, we learn how to create class methods. Also, we're gonna learn how to work with them. Instance and class methods are very similar, but the difference is that class methods operate on the class rather than an instance of the class. Now, let's see how that works. What I'm going to do is create a list of bank accounts. Uh, that that method will handle the creation of the bank account. What that's going to do is create an instance of the bank account class and let the bank account class be responsible for keeping track of all of the accounts. In order to create a class method, you define it the same way. Let's see how. But instead of the normal name, you prefix it with the with the word self and followed by a dot. So I prefixed the method definition with the word self. This tells the bank account class that this is a class method. Now let's initialize an accounts array. So I'm going to create an accounts accounts variable. So you can see this is an instance variable on the bank account class and also you can see this funny new symbol to pipes and followed by an equal this means that if there isn't a bank account array already initialized it will create a new one but if there is it just won't operate this 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 code so if it is initialized already, it just don't don't do anything. But if it isn't initialized yet, it will create a new array, a new entity array. This operator is called conditional assignment operator. Then what we'll do is append a bank account a bank account instance to the account's array. Now let's see. Accounts. Okay, uh, it's showing an error, a syntax error, so in just to, for avoid some errors, you can add parentheses to the arguments of the new method here. Sometimes the parentheses are necessary in case you see errors. Now let's run this program. Well, instead of run it, we just load it as we did in the last lesson. Okay, load the program and let's create a new bank account. So, bank account. We'll use our class method bank account dot create for and we'll send the name for Sebastian. Okay, so here we have a new bank account instance that was appended to the accounts array. This array is actually inside of the bank account class. Now this isn't entirely useful on its own. So let's find the bank account once we create it. We'll do this by a combination by using a combination of instance methods and class methods. Well, actually, just let's create a new class method called the self find for, and we'll receive a name. Now let's find in the accounts array an account with the name we receive as per as okay sorry that find remember we we use this function when we when we learned about the race in our last in the previous stages okay so now we have an account and let's ask uh, the account that Account that name equals name that we receive. So this function will return the account that uh, we find first. Now let's reload our bank account bank underscore account file in order to this change take effect. 
Okay, we reload it. Uh, let's create again another an, a new bank account instance using the, the, the class method. So bank account. Okay, just use. Okay, we already create for Sebastian. Let's create it again. Great. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we have one bank account with Sebastian inside. Let's create another one for for Howard. Okay, now we have two bank accounts. And let's create the last one for and now A B C D E F G. Okay, now we have three bank accounts as you can see here. The array returned by this uh, method is with three items. This is the first one, second one, and last one here. Our A, B, D, C, D, <laughs> well, however. Um, okay, so now let's find the bank account for of Sebastian. Okay, so bank account. Find for find for Sebastian. As you can see here, you will get an error that says method name is not defined for the object of the instance we need. So let's let's do this, the following. We need to add attribute accessors for access these values as name, balance, and everything else we have here as parameters. I mean as class attributes um, okay we can create here a new function instance def I mean a new, a new instance method called name for example and what this function is gonna do is return the name of the class I mean of the instance so if we try again okay let's reload again the file now let's look again for for Sebastian, the clone of Sebastian. Okay, great. Now, as you can see, it returns correctly the account we are looking for. Well, we created a, an instance method, but actually Ruby provides a shortcut for this. It's called other accessor as well as other reader and other writer. Let's see how it works. Instead of writing this method, let's delete it. Oh, I did it more than I did it. Let's delete this and add an attribute accessor. So a teacher accessor less. Okay, four. Well, actually, we just need the access the reader. Attribute a reader for for name. And what happened if we try again to look for Sebastian? Oh wait, we need to reload. Okay. And look again for the uh, Sebastian's account, and uh, it works. And we don't have the method, so this is the 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 shortcut of may, uh, have to make to create the, the instance method ourselves. So Ruby helps us in this. In this now uh, the we also have the attribute writer as well as the attribute accessor. That is the attribute reader and the attribute writer in one line. So. Let's say we want to modify the balance, so we we just can call a dot and then the balance. We need to add an attribute accessor for this in order to to write to read it and and write it. So accessor for balance. So let's see how we can do this and test it. Okay, let's reload again the, the file. Let's go ahead and and assign that account to. Sebastian's account equals to the the phone's account by this method. Okay, so now Sebastian's account has the account we are work working with. So Sebastian's account dot and let's say let's take a look at the balance of this account. Okay, so it says the balance is zero. So we can use this uh, this instance method asking for the balance of the of the current balance of the account because we added the attribute accessor if we delete it with 
well, we will get an error. So let's see if it really works. So let's add, make a deposit. So deposit 150. Great. So now we can call balance. Okay. So we can't query the balance anytime we, we need it on the, on the account. For creating our class methods, there is a, another, an alternate syntax that is more uh, readable or better to use. So we can use this syntax. Let's take a look. Class, class self, and instead of make this, so we can just delete the selves here. So we, we don't have to specify any time uh, we want to create a class method. Um, that it is a class method using self keyword. So here, this is an alternate notation for for create class methods. So all the class methods are going to be inside of this. Uh, syntax, I mean, of these section of the code, so we just don't need to specify any time itself here. So we can avoid that using this, and that's that's it. How you create class methods and work with them. Uh, now, as you can see, we can have any kind of functionality we need right now in our class bank account class. So just try yourself, make your own exact examples and share with us what you got you know, in the comments. And of course, if you have doubts and just want to say hello, leave us a comment. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about method visibility. As always, don't forget to follow me, I'm Bastian Belandi on Twitter, follow Race Karate on Twitter too, follow us as Race Karate on Facebook, and always keep an eye on racekarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video, and of course, thank you for subscribing to our channel. See you next lesson.